hi assalamualaikum this is javed khan so in this project i will show you how we can import data set using pandas from google sheet so let me show you an example like this is our data set on google sheets and there's a lots of sheets and in this current project we can see the data set of delta life insurance so let's open the delta life sheet in here so for an example we can see the, the in the data import the data things in here like date and price and date and price so if i change anything in here the changes will be updated in our existing project so this is kind of a live spreadsheet or live data set so if i just change my name in here and control s saving so now if we run the code from this line all records we can see the changes from the price to my name and that's our approach to show you how we can do the things so let's reformat it okay now it's saving and then we will start the existing program how we can do that so there are some few steps I have saved for you guys so how we actually need to use google cloud so let's show you it will be better so we just need to go in here and google cloud the link is console.googlecloud.com or just you can search google cloud and you may need to create an account so that's very simple this is the first link just go in here and do just free trials oh i didn't know that and just need to log in console in here let's go console and from here you'll see that this interface currently i'm st i'm working with that so you'll see this and you need to go in here new project then you need to define a name like test one or whatever data data set and no organization just create and you'll see creating a project name data set then what we have to do create a new data set then we have to enable Dr google drive api and google sheet api then credentials lots of steps you have to follow so start the project it says no organization okay we are done now we just need to go in search bar and need to search google drive api And you'll see this and you have to enable this it's loading and enable so while it's working we'll show another things we have to go we also need to go to like Google Google and from here we just need to open the sheets we need to create create need we need to create a new sheets just like this I'm gonna create a new one name pandas data set here date price so that could be like the Azure Tesh Dewey Dewey. Now let's okay. Twenty three. This is the this is the price. Just a random price. So this our data set is ready, right? Okay, we may we can use forty. Okay. okay so our data set is ready for in google sheet now we just need to go in here so google drive api is enabled now we need to go to 
uh, what Google Sheet API Google Sheet API and scroll down we will see this we actually need this one Google Sheets API exactly the same viewing yeah no organization is it's okay so just enable this and then what what you have to do we need to create uh, we need to go to the credentials create credentials they need a service account service account name copy email address so you, you need to something install okay just go to the credentials so enable api you can see the list that we, we installed two apis now let's go to the credentials go to the create credentials and service account just be careful not the api key or any other things go to the service account and give a name then you'll see a uh, an email will be created which is important to add it in this in this uh, what data set on Google Sheets so let's give a name Java data set then create and continue before and we just simply need to copy this email and save it then I'm gonna keep it in here now create and continue all right then done now we can see the email that we have copied just go to in here manage service accounts and then we need to you can see the email we can copy also in here the same email and just open this three dot and manage keys so we can see a JSON file will be automatically downloaded uh, wait let me show you let me see add keys create a new key minus key add key okay 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 so add key create a new key json file just continue let's show you again from in here action just go to minus keys then open add keys create new key and json file will be downloaded so continue and you will be prompt automatically download so i'm gonna create um okay in in this folder json oh 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 that will not work because because i need to navigate more anyways so this is our jet this is our JSON file. The security purpose I'm gonna not show you. Just copy project. Create a new folder. Test and in here paste. Done. Now, so we have we have downloaded the JSON file and we have copied the email. What you have to do now? let's see in here after downloading the json file now share the email address that you have copied in the google sheet as a viewer so let's open the google sheet this is the google sheet go to the share and you will have to paste as a viewer and then send then the google cloud will get access of your google sheet so now we are done so now let's get back to the project and the folder we have just created this is the json file let's create a new file new file okay we just need we don't need the name so we just need to install some things like if you are using already so you, you must you already install the pandas but one more thing we have to install that is gspread so pip install g spread yeah the spread fine let's run it so since i already downloaded so it, it says requirements already satisfied let's just remove it now now we can get, so import pandas as pd so pandas need to access the data frame or data the data frame basically and g spread for the live api so uh, import 
g spread continue then what i can do so we have shared and uh, okay this is the pandas now we need to copy that url copy get back to the code the suggestion in here after importing jspread let's create a service a service account where we need to mention the json file that we have downloaded then share the uh, google sheet so i am just to make the time convenient i'm just copying all the things not in here okay fine and we better do in here all right that's really irritating no ways so gc or anything this is a random name and j spread that we have imported so j spread dot service account scc or your anti account then a file name so which file is existing in here in the same code this is this is our notebook file and this is the json file just copy the name of the copy the path if you are using from windows you will see the path i'm gonna paste and now let's run that's okay now we need the sheet so which sheet like if if we consider this this uh data set so we have many sheets but in this file we just have a single sheet but we can create another sheet like just my name that's it nothing more and control, control s command s shit okay so um what are we are we are in here now sheet equal gc this is the name gc dot open by url there are several ways we can get access so i'm, I'm just doing using open url command now let's share the file name file name copy link the url now we can share let's run the file if everything is okay uh, okay all right that's fine okay we can have a look at each sheet okay sheet pandas data set imported so pandas data set so you can see the name pandas data set so let's go in here now we can do worksheet right worksheet so sheet dot worksheet sheet name so we have two sheets sheet one sheet two and we can replace the name rename we don't need to do that so just sheet name and make sure s is capital uh, capital letter sheet one now we need data frame of panda so df equal pd dot data frame g ws worksheet dot get all records so, all right so now we can see if we change in to oh name is not showing okay all right all right says so it's okay no worries so if we change anything in shit in here job all right okay control s command s and run again so you can see the changes so this is the actual thing this is the actual purpose 
of this project to show you how you can use Google Cloud and Google Sheet and Pandas using a live data set in your project. That's it. Thank you so much. I love this.